makes you think. Makes you think about the people in your life. And I think of Neil. And if he was sitting there right now, what he say to me? He say, John, what's it about? What's life about? If you don't go through it as a man's man. You say, suck it up. Take the fall. Do the time. That's made you who you are. That makes you what you are. How long have we been around this thing of ours? This goes in Austria. 120 years. I mean, what's it about? It's about the rules, parameters. And you take the beating for the friend, you don't run, you don't lay down, you don't betray who you are, what you are. Self esteem. Self esteem is basic. You pick it up in the street, that goes with the street. You gotta remember Angie here. I love this guy. I loved him. And he was stupid. He never listened to me. He always wanted a goddamn dope money. He never rolled. Do you know that? He never rolled. My brother Gene, Joey, the Mick, they don't roll. They're doing a thousand years now. They don't roll. They don't rat white. That's the rule. You don't break. You don't rat. Basic rules. Gives you a little power, right? Not the kind of power these feds have. God forbid, right? God forbid we pull their chain in public, right? Fucking dress better than them. They take it personal. Like it's a fucking vendetta, right? They're supposed to act better than the rest of us. Just want me to be something I wasn't even born to be. Humble. Humble. They want you to be humble. Yeah, so you humble me. What you got now? You got a war? You got a global war? You got the Chinks, you got the Dominicans, the Asians, the Russians, the Colombians, the Jamaicans. What are they doing? They desecrate the nation. You got your veritable fucking snowstorms of cocaine and smack, whatever the hell else they shove in their veins. You got a worldwide crime syndicate now. There's no rules. There's no parameters. There's no feelings. There's no feelings for this country. Anarchy. You got anarchy. So? Five, ten years from now. They're gonna wish it was American cause and also. Five, ten years from now. They're gonna miss John Gotti. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Angie. Ah, I love you, big. You remember the time when in Vegas we see that funny guy, Joey Villain? Yeah, at the, the Riviera, yeah. right? Who, who's the guy who walked in the bar that night, Jojo? That short guy. Yeah, Jojo. Oh, yeah, he's a funny story. Listen to story. Listen. Jojo comes into the bar, right? He's wearing a solid gold buckle. <laughs> this big, says Jojo on it. He's got a bracelet on his arm, says Jojo on it. Got a fucking necklace, says Jojo. Right. He's got solid gold cufflinks. They all say Jojo on it, right? Went to little, the name. Uh, little chief bellhop walks in. He says, excuse me, Mr. Jojo. He says, shut the fuck up. I don't want nobody to know I'm here. True story. I was there. All right. All right. All right. Here, do what you want with yours. I'm getting down on the next. Hey, John, who wants a bigger piece of you, huh? Your bookie or your tailor? I'm split right down the middle, Thank baby. You, John. Put out the fucking cigarette before you give us all cancer, please. Cancer? What cancer, huh? Nobody proved nothing. The oh. government has not proved that cigarettes yeah, cause cancer. Right. What <laughs> fucking government is he talking about now? I don't know. You know tobacco people on the feds? Yeah, fuck that. Put out the fucking cigarette. Put the cigarette. Put it out. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. What a fucking ball breaker here. <laughs> hey, Gene. You going to mom's later? It's Friday night. Me and Pete are both going, right? Give it up. Put your shit on top of it. Pete, kick something into that like you're supposed to. No, no, right now, to me, kick in. Come on, you've been robbing cannolis from us for 20 fucking years now. Hey, John, your old man told me that uh, your mother's got a Zulu maid. <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> you know he never wanted me to marry Vicky? Best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And why? Never wanted me to marry her. And why not, John? Well, Vicky's stepfather's Italian, but her real father was a Jew. So? So the Jews whacked out Jesus. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You know, maybe you had to come. Oh. Under the table. Oh. Watch out for that bolt of lightning. Eh? It's coming. Up your head, <laughs> is. The bolt of lightning. That's fine. Ah. That's good. Ah. It's Neil, huh? Hey, it's Neil. It's Neil. Neil. What is it? Look, Carlo wants to see you. He wants to see me? Hmm. Really, right now? Right now. And she goes with? Bring him along. And she! Adiamo! Who would have thought the king of the volcano lived in this place? It's the old time of style, Angie. You don't flash nothing. Hey, uh, you stink. Well, Angie can't come? Well, Carlos sent for you, not Angie. Uh, let him talk. Don't interrupt. He's uh, old, but he's still sharp. And don't dare underestimate him. Hey, Neil, how you doing? Hello, Sammy. Sammy Gravano. You know John Gotti? Yeah, just by reputation. Same here. How you doing? Well, you smile. You must have good things. Nothing but. Come by my clothes sometime. We'll go bounce. Sounds good. They're expecting you, fellas. Oh, well, thank you, Sammy. Ricardo, this is uh, John Gotti. How are you? Paul Castellano. How are you doing, Paul? Joe Armand. Joe, how are you? Well, sit down, sit down. I heard good things. You tell Carmine's bronze little book up. Hundred thousand a month. Hundred thousand. Never took a dime from the top. I'm a young man not tempted by foolish money. You seem to respect my uh, my policy on drugs. You know, the feds, they uh, tolerate certain things, certain things. Not drugs. They make your crew understand they deal in drugs, that's all. They die. Yeah, I've done that. I, uh, I tell you this because I see a future for you. Uh, first, uh, something else. My, uh, my nephew. He's a saint. Not, not of our life, no, no. The rest is scum. 
Why do we skip? They blew his face away and they put him back in a car. The man responsible has been found. This is Staten Island. I want you to do this for me. Stop. I miss moments. You're under my, my flag. Grassi, don't go. I want you to take one of my men with you. Ralph Gallion. I'll uh, fill Neil in with the details. It went well, John. This is a walk in the sun. The old man will never forget it. Yeah. Who's this guy on? Oh, he's in Castellano's crew. Between him and Simon Gravano, they whacked a dozen bums. Yeah. Why'd they give me Sammy? I mean, I just know nothing about this guy. Yeah. I mean, you're the underboss here, Neil. You know, Castellano should defer to you a little. He wants one of his guys along. I got no beef. Just tell him to give me Sammy. Paul wants Galeone on this piece of work. Leave it at that. Is that what you want? Doesn't matter what the fuck I want. That's the way it is. Now just, just let it go, John. Just go with it, huh? Go with the tide. All right. Forget I said it. Hey, Galeon, you always snort on a hit? Shop is my concentration, man. Good, uh, start concentrating. We're going out to a joint in Staten Island. No one's gonna pay attention to us now if we're cool. But Bradney's there every night. He sits at the end of the bar near the back door. I'm gonna mention some names from the west side. He's gonna figure I'm gonna try to sell him some stuff. You stay near the door, you watch our backs. We're gonna take him out of the car, we're gonna whack him in the parking lot. Capiche? Oh, where you going? He's just a third guy, he's gonna smell a rat. I said the door. All right, take it easy. How you doing? Got any boodles? Yeah, we got it. What are you drinking, Ange? Box, two is, two is on the boodles. All right. What's that, Jimmy? That's Bradley, right? Yeah, who wants to know? Yeah, we know people. Mickey from 46, I'm gone. You know Mickey Dumbo? How you doing? We're talking about you last night, right? That's right. That's right. About the Angie? Yeah. And the Bradley. Yeah. What are you doing, hey. Hey. Sitting in the trunk of my car. Your name is written all over. Let's go take the room. Hey, what are you me. doing? Excuse Back him up. Now. We can hey. take him. Perron, 17 squad. You want to step outside? What? Where the hell did you get that? Did you find that in some kind of a cracker jack box? You fucking guinea hump. Take that fucking thing and shove it up your ass along with a. You can't kill him, John. You can't kill him. He's Paul Castellano's soldier. We need an okay, or else you're stepping way in line here. Personal favor I'm doing for Don Carlo. He's fucking gone. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Castellano said use Galeon. He should have given us Sammy Gavano. You're thinking that Mick Bartender's gonna make us from fucking mug shots. You think we're going back I'm not to Lewisburg? Thinking, you're thinking. I'm eating. And he's gone.
bottom line. The bottom line is John Gotti clipped a soldier, my Duchene, without my okay. That's a flagrant violation. John Gotti should fucking die. No need to curse, Paul. No need. Neil, Neil. Ah, uh, no, you know me. Don't call me. I'm a street guy. If I, if I can't curse, I, I can't talk. You said a fucking moron on this hit. Who endangered the life of a young man I think of as, as, as a son. Caglione deserved to be clipped. What John Gotti was doing, a, a piece of work that could buy him 25 years. That's and, fucking and, immaterial. The bottom line is that we... Bottom line, yes, bottom line. That's weasel words. My God, a businessman talks like that. What the hell kind of word is that? <laughs> Paul, you don't know the streets. I mean, you, you never have. John Gotti clipped your scumbag soldier because your scumbag soldier deserved it. John Gotti is Cosa Nostra. Consigliere. The rule was broken, yes. It calls for Gotti to die. Was the reason for breaking the rule so powerful that it was justified? We need all the John Gottis we can get, but we survive by our rules. If it was my call, he would go. Some combination, huh? You Frankie catching, my son passing. Hey, your kid's got a great arm. Come here, you! Frank. You better hurry make this thing out of You got a cradle of boom. No, I'll show you some like If he snaps it at you, I want you to suck it in. Suck it in. Actually, do it again. He's gonna snap it at you. A lot of old pass, you gotta suck it in. You ready to Stop go home yet? No, I got my bike. I'm gonna ride home. Okay, you were great. Mm. Thanks. You're gonna be great. Man. Thanks. You're my champ, you know that? Yeah. Hey, hey. Take that. Hey, see you next week, huh? Okay, see ya. See ya. <laughs> so, John, how's the couch business? You still selling costume convertibles? That's a living. I can't complain. <laughs> we gotta run. You got a great arm, kiddo. Thanks. Yeah. I said, sit down. for permission to have you whacked. It came this close. I told Don Carlo, you were like a son to me. That touched the old man. He told Paul to give you a pass. But if Don Carlo had said, you gotta go, I would have come here today with these two zips and you would go. John, you cannot whack a made man on somebody else's crew. They're rules. 
You break the rules in this whole goddamn thing of ours. Cracks and bumbles. You never break the rules. Capiche? Capiche. Uh. Let's drink to that. Wipe your face, John. You're sweating up a hundred dollar shit. And Carter says you'll do some time, but he's gonna take care of your family. Here. A la familia. And the rules that hold us together. A la familia. And the rules that hold us together. You look good, John. Hey, thanks, man. How do you swing a three-year sentence with a guy dead on a saloon floor? You just make sure some Irish scumbag have deserved it. This way, at least, you know you performed the public service. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Some good news first. Uh, I'm Carlo made it official. You come out of here, you come out of captain. Huh? <laughs> God bless you, man. God bless you. How's my Frankie? Ah, oh, he's good. Making the kids are all fine, and uh, your mother, forget about her. <coughs> forget about her. She, uh, she told me the place on the ship's head is a palace. <laughs> she called it that? <laughs> She told me, says, my son got me a palace. <laughs> ah, it's not just Ricky and the kids, uh, John. I mean, the whole neighborhood would be glad to have you back. Uh, people ask about you all the time. Uh, got a bit of bad news. Uh, Don Carlo had a, had a heart attack. Well, I guess when he goes, you're going to have your day, Neil. You know? We'll see. What's that mean? We'll see. You're next in line. What's that mean? Listen, I heard a little news on the street. Uh, I heard that your uh, brother Gene and uh, Angie's brother Sal are pushing dope. They're pushing dope? Yeah. Neil, come on. Sally's not a made guy. He's a civilian. He does whatever the fuck he wants. And my brother Gene, all right, he's no genius here, but come on, the guy's not pushing dope. That's good, you. I understand that he's getting a percentage. Where the fuck did you get this? One of uh, Big Paul's soldiers told me. <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, considered a source. I mean, I'm only sitting here three fucking years because of that incompetent Sicilian candy ass. Well, I'm supposed to believe my own brother's pushing dope? Believe what you want. But ask Angie. 
I want this fucking room approved or disproved. An FBI spokesman said today that a promising lead on the whereabouts of Patty Hearst resulted in a dead end. The young heiress is wanted in a series of politically motivated bank robberies. You know this bitch is richer than Rockefeller. I mean, with all her money, what the hell is she Mexican doing trying to overthrow the government? To you gotta lock up this twat for a hundred fucking years when they catch her. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, Angie. You got anything you want to tell me? Like what? Like secret shit. Like what kind of secret shit? Like secret shit. Like what? Like how many times a night I whack off? I said like secret shit. Hey, John, you and me, we change each other's diapers, for Christ's sakes. What fucking secrets I keep from you? OK. Where'd you get the pursuit? I know people. Mm. We got a problem with the Zulu chief. Hmm? He's threatening to put a hit on this kid, Joey Perillo, for stealing six ounces of nose candy from him. Yeah? Who was he? There's a kid at the end, a skinny kid. Who's the kid with? Nobody. He's a street thief. Well, then fuck him. He's got nothing to do with us. Yeah, but the kid says he knows Sammy Gravano. He says him and Sammy go way back, blah, 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 and there's no time to check this out with Sammy. Did you believe him? Yeah, for sure I know Sammy. Well, better I stand up for Sammy in here and find out I should have when I get out. I don't, Chief. <laughs> How about you and me? We go for a walk and talk, huh? Take a stroll. <laughs> what do you say? I say a dagger and a pimple on a nigga's ass. I sure as hell hope not. What do you want me to do? I'm alone here, see? I'm clean. Come on. Step in my office here. This is business. Uh, business, huh? You know you want crazy motherfucking wop, man. Eh? Let's walk. So he misses six ounces of coke. Yeah, you heard right. And Guinea Perillo? He's gonna get a ship stuck in his ass. You know, I say hard time is for hard arms. What are we trying to do here? Try to do some easy time. You know, you start that shit as a lockdown. Then what you got? You got no booze, no bras, no phones, no visitors. You weren't even gonna get TV rights. Now, come on, you and me, we cool that, huh? Yeah, well, I'm listening. All right, that's six ounces of coke you lost. I'm gonna replace it. You're gonna get 18 grand cash, you're gonna get a van full of luckies. Your whole side of the yard here, you're just gonna all be stoking and smoking your fucking brains out for a month, as far as I'm concerned. From here on out. Anyone here in my court fucks with your action. You just come to me. Who the fuck are you? John Gotti. So when do I get my drop? What's your morning paper? Count up in two wings. Count up in two wings. Thank you, Willie. Hi. Come stand up
Carlos dead. Heart attack an hour ago. What a mess. He made Big Paul a new boss on his deathbed. No fucking way, Carlos passed you up. For what? That piece of shit? He don't understand the street. He wants to be some butter-ass businessman. Come on, that's not cause of Austria. Maybe a street guy is not what is needed. Maybe times are changing, John. Bullshit! Come on! The soldiers don't even want him. Ask anyone here. They starve under the guy. Neil, the fucking guy. He squeezes a fucking quarter till the eagle screams. Come on! Well, Carlo was the boss. He picked his brother-in-law. Now Paul is the boss. That is it. Hey, Neil. You devoted your life to this thing. You never backdoored nobody. You never took a fucking dime wasn't yours. What do you want me to do? You want me to blow the fucking fuck out right now? Here, do it right now. The king is dead. Long live his brother-in-law. Johnny boy doesn't seem to think so. How many captains have behaved like that with Neil De La Croce? You know, I think we got a little crack developing in the Gambino family. Maybe more of a crack than meets the eye. Like what? Gotti's heritage is Neapolitan, Navalidan. Castellano is Sicilian, like Don Carlo. The rivalry's subtle, but it's there. Non tomera Roma, la serpa giage in inguato Napoli. Never fear Rome. The serpent lies coiled in Naples. First off, I want everybody to know that Tommy Bellotti is going to continue as a captain. But he's also going to be my personal doberman. Ain't that right, Tommy? Always, Paul. Always. And Frankie DeCiccio is our new consigliere. To a moment, uh, he wants to get out of harness. I've done my stint, you know, 44 years. I bought a little hole in the wall cafe in Astoria. I, you know, I'd walk to work every morning and get away from my wife. Anyone ever wants to consult, you know, come right over. Coffee's <clears throat> on me. Everybody at this table should be proud to be sitting here in front of a man's man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, finally. I think everybody at this table knows that uh, I'm keeping Neil on as my underboss. It gives us some continuity. Huh. Grazie, Paul. You know, I don't think the Queen's boys know uh, DB. This is uh, John Gotti, uh, Robert DiBinardo, known as DB. I love your handkerchief. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> that is uh, Angelo Ruggiero. You know my tailor? Uh, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. DB runs all the porn on Brooklyn. And uh, you don't have to say anything about John. His reputation precedes him. <laughs> all right, all right. What's on the table? You know, I got Genovese people hijacking three loads out of Kennedy the last two months. Now, Columbus took off a couple, too. If I got to rip somebody's fucking eyes hey, out here, they hey, Wait a minute. No, no, wait, ho, ho, ho. Nobody's eyes are going to get ripped. I'm ready to whack the motherfuckers Nobody right is going to get whacked. Not unless the boss of this family approves. Understood? Mm -hmm. now, you've been away for a while. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't know that we got a, a lot of joint ventures with the Genoveses and the Columbos. The future of this family doesn't depend on a, a couple of loads from Kennedy, not anymore. Mm -hmm. We're like United Nations now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Neil, you mean, Frankie, uh, we'll uh, work this thing out with Kennedy Airport later. All right, next case. All right. Nicky Scabetta's got to go. Johnny, want your crew to whack him. What do you mean, my crew? Nick Scabetta's in a construction business with Sammy there in Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn business. That's why it makes more sense for you guys to do the job. No, no, I live in Queens, Frankie, okay? You whack your own people, forget about it. 
Forget about it. What do we got? Two families here? Hey, Frankie, go fuck yourself. Hey, wait a second. Hey, we ain't got no problem here. Nick's my brother-in-law. is my embarrassment. I mean, what the fuck? I'll whack him nice and easy. I'll have to wake over at Thomas Sewell's. You know, keep it in the neighborhood. Good thinker, Sammy. You stick with your in-laws. I like that. Yeah. I gotta get back in the streets. That's where all the money is these days, huh? Hey, Paul, not for nothing. That was a great spread. The guy just got out of the joint, for God's sakes. I mean, you know, uh, he's complicated, but his motives are good. Besides, he's a good earner. Hey, John's ace is with me. I mean, he got a kid that I know out of a jam with the Zulus up in Greenhaven. He didn't have to do it. And Johnny's problem is that he's a street Neapolitan, huh? Always scheming. Western is the second. <laughs> 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 what are you reminding me now what I owe you, you cocksucker? Have I ever missed settling with you? Come on, I'm like the clock. Play stuff fucking bad, would you? Fuck it, you made him a rich fucking man. No fucking nerve. Hey, John, why do you go nuts every week trying to scrape up money? I mean, what's Richie gonna do if you just say go fuck yourself? Angie, a player loses, he pays, and a bookie loses, he pays. All right, give me a break. Tell it to the guys who all was. Where's the mate? It's at the warehouse with Bobby the Jew trying to get rid of those fucking watches you got. Yeah, by the time the fence takes his cut, it's small potatoes. We're breaking our balls for peanuts, John. And not for nothing, John, but the guys don't have two nickels to rub the fucking gun. I mean, what are we doing here? Policy slips? It's bullshit. You know, all you do, you cry like babies all day long, you bite my ass like around the clock. You know, if I'm not in here having my famous espresso with 20 ducks by 10, I'm back in here by noon to check the numbers. You know, but I'm the one who goes down to Mulberry to check it out with Mr. Neal, right? I'm the one who goes out to Staten Island to pay respect to that laid down Cazzo Paul. And I gotta drink more bit of coffee, because this spit maid cannot even run a fucking espresso machine. I gotta sit with that zombie Bellotti. Dope him in my ass. I gotta go out to the island now to talk to Bobby about stolen watches. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know I could have been a meeting mate? I could have worked for you, P fucking S, and made more fucking money. Where the fuck you come crying to me about empty pockets? Why don't you just say what you want? What do you want? You want a piece of DB's porn? Do you want a piece of Sammy's construction? What do you want, demolition or cement or garbage, which? You want trucks, meat, fish, common? So the fuck do I! Anybody got any ideas? Yeah, I got one or two. Yeah? Yeah, yeah here's three. What the fuck? Hey, 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 Johnny! Come on! Don't for one minute you're not dipping into Angie's drug operation. And you and Angie and the me and your brother Sally there are dealing. Don't ever <laughs> fucking think I don't know that. And hey, you with that in the joint, whack whack. What's the matter now? You got nothing to say? You got it wrong, John. Nobody's dealing. We're moving a few things around for Sally. That's hey, what it. are you moving? You moving furniture for $5 an hour? Let me tell you something. This Sicilian motherfucker finds out you're dealing heroin. I can't save your ass. And I'm the first to get hit. You know why? I don't let anyone whack on my crew. Now, is that what you want? Good. Hey, John. What do you say the three of us, we go down to Umberto's, we get some scongeles, we relax. Come on. I'm relaxed. I'm plenty relaxed. I'm going down to regimes. Have a drink with DB. <laughs> Smell like a fucking animal now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, he each his own. Big bucks in it, that's for sure. Oh, fuck this shit. They lock you up forever. Money ain't a good enough reason to do 100 years. I like this joint, huh? It's classy. Classy? You got any idea how much money this place must grow some month? Fucking <laughs> Sammy. He's all business, you know what I mean? But he's right. I mean, I wouldn't mind a piece of this place myself. Let me ask you something, John. How come you don't have a piece of anything legitimate? DB and me, we're in drywall, construction, demolition, nightclubs, you name it. Legitimate, 
You know what I think is bullshit, though? You should become CPAs. I'm serious. Certified public assholes. <laughs> <laughs> this way you could have your legitimate businesses and your books and your workman's comp and your blue cross and your blue shield. And on top of that, I'll tell you what. On top of that, you go pay your taxes, all right? You think I got a button to become some kind of a straight-up businessman? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I think, John? I think under these $2,000 suits, you're really an old-timer. Yeah, man. Gotta remember where we come from. Amen. Your boss is so busy being a businessman, I can't even get the right back in when I need it. What's that about? It's not just our boss, John. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I know that. Now, he's my boss. He's my boss. Off the record, I'd have been happy to see Neil get it. Yeah, off the record, John, I don't think anybody would have cried if Mr. Neil got it. But, uh, you know, it's close and Ostrom. We got the boss we got. Here's the change in the subject, man. To the boss. Yeah, to the boss. Salary. I gotta get going. Where you going? Business or pleasure? What the fuck's the difference? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. A million a month gross minimum. I could be off by 50%. Fuck <laughs> it, Sammy. You know that contract we got out in Queens? We're the low bidders, but it, it turns out it's like one of those modified bids, you know? Yeah, it's always modified. Modified to the point where we can't make any money. Nikki, come here. Take down that piece of drywall up there, the one on the top. For what? For what? Because maybe you ain't buying the kind of quality that you should, huh? <laughs> Sammy, you don't trust nobody, man. Piece of shit. I knew it was a mistake. Son of a bitch. I'm Denver's brother, for God's sake. Fuck up, Nikki. Don't do me, What did I do? You know something, Nikki? You are some whiner. Jesus, Johnny. Hey, Sammy, how are you doing? I'm so sorry. How are you? Who done this job? No, leave it alone, Sammy. It was an accident. Just as town's friends and the families, you know what I mean? Just, just stay here. Thanks for coming, man.
guy lives next door. His name's Favara. My God, I am highly sorry for having offended me. And I detest all bad sins for that just punishment. But most of all, I have offended you. Servant of all my love. And if I'm there is all without top of that grace, just sin no more. It's gonna take one. It's twenty thousand bucks I'm picking up. You can afford it for minutes. No? I'll be right back. What Lincoln? Fight is all there is to it. Mr. Gotti, what does this have to do with loan sharking? Did he oh, owe you money? Ridiculous loan sharking. Mr. Gotti sells plumbing supplies. That's all. What sort of thing? Leave the man alone. Leave the man alone. Leave the man alone. What was your reaction to these accusations? Take that to yourself. Do you always hand out 50s to street people? Is that a 50? Here, take a hundred. Give me back your 50. Take Tough on the streets. Everybody's got to score once in a while. I guess that's why your neighborhood loves you so much. Okay, sir. How does it feel getting $100 from John Gotti? My guess is that uh, once this pie chick finds out who you are, it would draw. But uh, there's a bigger problem coming up, John. Not with you, with your people. What do you mean, my people? Well, Angelo Ruggiero, you brought a Jean Demeg on a heroin conspiracy indictment's coming down this afternoon. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not kidding you. And the really bad news, John, is that Angelo's house has been bugged for months. Jesus Christ. 
That stupid greedy motherfucking moron! God damn him! God damn him! Always gonna whack the three of them. And me too. I got Mo, I got Larry, and I got Curly. Bail I raise for you three, I'll be broke here for a fucking year. How many times are we gonna go through this? We're in the street, we're scratching and we're scraping, so we took a taste. We're just trying to survive, John. Angelo, how do you get caught in a bug? In your own house. Motherfucker. Don't hey. say motherfuckers, all right? Even when you were a kid, you don't shut your fucking mouth. That's why I called you quack quack. They don't have to bug you. Anyone in New York dials seven digits, they get you. I had my house swept by this electronic expert. The motherfucker told me it was safe. Safe? Yeah. Have you heard of technology, Angelo? There is no safe. Don't you know they're gonna parabolic Mike today? Could you have a fucking snake fart in Egypt? The feds are a machine. They don't run out of time or money. They sent a whole fucking army to grab 30 spicks in that Caribbean shit or whatever the fuck it was. Grenada. Yeah, that's power, Angel. That's real power. Every fucking boss. You shut the fuck up for a minute. I'm trying to make a point. That's the kind of power the feds have made the bosses bang the goddamn drugs in the first place. Every fucking boss of every family is into drug money. Off the record. Right. Paul's full of shit. Right. He's taking fucking drug money from Roy DeMeo. He don't ask where the cash comes from, but he knows, John. So he's a hypocrite? Yeah. Is there something new? He's a boss. Did you get it? He's the boss. How bad are these tapes? Yeah, forget about it. I said a lot of shit about people about Paul, too. I uh, sat down with the Columbos and those asbestos removal contracts that uh, you guys got in with the Board of Ed. Well, anyhow, I agreed to up their end of it to 40%. 40%? This is Paul. I mean, they don't even deserve the 30% they're in for now. But I know for a fact when Don Carlo was alive, they were lucky to get 10. <laughs> Don Carlo's been dead for a long time now. And Neil? And Neil goes, it's the end of that regime. Finished. I mean, this is a new age. Yeah, we got more money to make working with the other families than shutting them out. Me and the Columbos, we also had a little talk about our uh, John Gotti problem. What's John Gotti problem? What's the matter with Johnny? You mean the Ruggiero thing? What John Gotti problem? What problem? Don't you guys fucking read? Give me that newspapers. When, uh, when the New York Times carries it, you got trouble. I had dinner last week with this chicken guy. What's his name? Looks like a chicken. What the hell's he gonna think when he sees these headlines? Come on, Paul. These guys are not stupid. They know who we are. But it's not supposed to be so public. This John Gotti is like some troll back to our street days. Goes to work on some guy with a baseball bat in the street. He's Paul, the guy jumped him with a bat. I mean, John's got a temper, so what? You know the guy's a hell of a big... What, an earner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, but what's, uh, what the hell is it with these $3,000 suits? I mean... The man dresses better than Cuomo. And these FBI bugs. <laughs> Who knows what's on those fucking tapes? Do you? Who the hell knows what kind of shit that fat fuck Angie talked about me? Anyway, if we gotta whack John and his crew, uh, the Columbus are gonna have us the soldiers to do it. Who's talking about whacking John Gotti? This way it keeps us from having any war within the family. Paul, as your conciliary, I have an obligation to tell you this. It's not right for us to reveal our family problems in front of the Columbos. Weakens us. It weakens nothing. It does tape show that Angie and those two other mama Lukes are dealing powder. Well, the rule is since 1957, deal and die. I gotta clip him. And Johnny Boy, too. What's up, fellas? Can we go off the record here? Absolutely. All right. 
What Carlo built up for 30 years with his blood, this prick is giving away, piece by piece. The other families are gonna piss all over us. He's not trying to build. Mark my words, Sam, we're gonna stop with this guy. Off the record, I agree with you 100%. I'll tell you one other thing. This guy don't understand for one fucking minute who John Gotti is. <coughs> All right? You gotta get to a hospital, Neil. You hear me? What the hell would that do, John? They just want to shoot that toxic shit into me, and I, I'll die that much sooner. John, I just don't want to... I don't want to leave a war behind me. He would be within his rights. I mean, Paulie has every right to whack out your whole crew. <coughs> Neil and I, that was... That was... Carlos Edith. Right, right. And that's why Carlo Gambino wasn't taking drug money or for the mayo like Paulie. Yeah. Paulie ain't one tenth of Carlo Gambino, Neil, and you know that. Carlo Gambino ran his family like it was supposed to be run. You remember like a brotherhood. Like it was our thing. Paulie runs it like it's his thing. I would have been step out of the grave here. He said this whole thing right. He could. Nobody in my crew is getting clipped, that's all. If anybody's getting clipped there, it's gonna be poor. Hey, John. I brought you into this family. I made you what you are. You're strong and you're smart. But don't ever believe that you are bigger than any... I don't other. think I'm don't bigger than... A... Don't interrupt me. I know what you're thinking. John, you cannot whack out a boss. Only the full commission can make that call. I love you like a son. But don't ever put me in the spot. And don't ever force my hand. I would never do that. OK. Okay, let's take a walk, huh? I gotta tell you, John, we can't clear this with any of the bosses. Hey, it's our family, it's our move. Nobody gives a fuck about this greedy cazzo. Wait, not until Neil goes. All right, DB's with us all the way. The Chico says you ought to get all the capital regimes together and make them vote right away. That'll make it official. He can deliver Joe Amon out of retirement. Sit next to you. That ought to give it some weight. You're gonna be on the boss. You ready? <laughs> Frank and the Chico be consigliere. Look for it tight. Yeah, real tight. Huh? Put that like no government nowhere. Is ever gonna break this. We're gonna make a powerhouse now. I caused no strange scene since Anastasia. Anastasia? Shit, John, this is bigger than killing the fucking president. Hey, you think I was put in this earth to make them rich and me poor? We're gonna do a hit now. We're gonna do a real hit. We're going back. Yeah. Back to some real in your face, cousin Austro. Out in front on a line. Make him sit back and watch a volcano blow. You with me? I'm with you, John. All the way to the finish. They're all niggas. They're all niggas. This is their finals. We had it all. Booze, the girls, pockets full of money. Oh, no. Johnny, I, I had a girl. Was that that Irish girl? Yeah, that's right, yeah. You know, I could go two, three days without sleep, my God. I was so strong. You know, I, Live this goddamn life long enough. And you know, you can't take anything with you except your honor. Don't ever, 
Don't ever lose that, Johnny. Johnny. This whole fucking thing lasts only five minutes. He's gone. And that fuck Castellano never even come say goodbye. What the hell is the chick gonna need this meeting for? I got shopping to do. Probably another beef about the fucking garbage roots. Yeah, more garbage. Another 20 bucks to park this thing. Well, we ought to get into these Manhattan parking lots. It's a license to steal. All right, all right, let me out. Study the defendant. I've never seen that guy before. (laughs) 
You're under oath. You have never before seen this man? I see Mr. Gotti on TV and newspapers. I never met the man. Are you telling this court that John Gotti is not the same man you incriminated on an assault warrant? It was a long time ago. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Any further questions, Mr. Bartley? No, Your Honor. I think it's pretty clear. Mr. Cutler. <clears throat> Your Honor, I respectfully move for a dismissal of all charges. Yeah. <laughs> Motion granted. <laughs> Believe this son of a bitch. Every time he beats a rat, his popularity goes through the roof. He's making us all look like idiots. Our day will come, Bruce. Believe me, our day will come. See the fireworks on the way over? John's tossing a block party for beating the case. Yeah, right. Everybody loves him. He whacks out Paul Castellano in the middle of 46th Street. Where the hell are the New York cops? And now it's some unsolved homicide. And now this pie chick thing, how do you think this egomaniac must feel? Untouchable. Son of a bitch is sitting on a $500 million a year enterprise. And he knows how to spread it around. Correction. He's sitting on top of a $500 million a year criminal enterprise. This is no Fortune 500 company he's running here. Bruce, are you forgetting the prosecutor spent the last year building a RICO case against him? You guys don't get it. I want this guy. So spread the money around, offer immunity to some hard timers. We'll spend 24 hours a day in that goddamn little room. If we have to, I do not care. He's doing business somewhere in the building. We find out where, we got him. But I don't want the son of a bitch as the next mayor of New York. <laughs> Only sound. He gets arrested in Long Island in a rental Mercedes. I think the feds are in his mailbox. Anyway, they're going through his car. They find two Berettas in a glove compartment and an axe under the front seat. A fucking axe, right? So they're looking at him. They say, you know, not for nothing. You get any idea why there's two handguns in a glove box and an axe under the front seat? Sally says, are you serious? I will never rent a car from fucking Avery. <laughs> <laughs> Long story. Yeah. Thought you should know this sooner than later. What? Well, I got something for you, but uh, strictly off the record. So we'll go upstairs. Whose place is this? Mikey Sorelli's. I thought he was dead. He is. Maybe that's why there's nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Well, the U.S. Attorney's Office has been working a whole year on a huge RICO case against you, your brother Gene, Angelo, and Domingue. Damn these fucks. I'm sorry. I know how you live. Yeah, I know. Let me go through this RICO thing again. It says if anyone anywhere is caught doing anything wrong, then everyone is guilty up and down the line. Yeah. Wait a minute. This is a law. Yeah. Is the government's license to throw out the Constitution. If they can prove that somebody is part of a continuing criminal enterprise, they can lock them up for life. <sighs> continuing criminal enterprise. I don't even know what the fuck hey, that did means. Did they lock up Nixon for life when they raided his Democratic National Headquarters with whatever the fuck they were? The plumbers. Yeah, he had an ongoing criminal enterprise his entire career. That's the a RICO case. U.S. attorney on this case does not see you as a defendant. To her, you're some kind of Ho trophy. Who for me and horror? Who horror? Diane Jackalone, very ambitious. Would you forget about it? No brush named Jackalone is gonna be jerking me off alone. And would you tell her to leave us the fuck alone? And another thing, I don't wanna be alone tonight. Who is the guy, Tony Rigoletto? No, Tony Rigoletto. Rigoletto's an opera. It's Tony Rigoletto. I'm talking about opera. Tony Rigoletto. The guy could sing an entire opera in Italian, word for word. Didn't speak a word of Italian. He's like an idiot savant. An idiot savant. These guys are retarded, but they do one thing perfect. How come only servants can do this stuff? <laughs> savant! What servant, you know, I gotta say this, you know. You got everyone's respect, you know. Thanks, John. I mean that. I was gonna say a dress classy too, but I don't want you to get a swell head. Right? <laughs> Thanks, John. You know, Paul, 
He only thought of me as a money machine. It's really good to be treated as a friend. Hey, you are a friend. And Sammy G's a friend. And what is it with this guy? His fucking wife has got him home six o'clock every night. What is that? Well, unless he's out whacking somebody. <laughs> Mr. Gotti? <laughs> Mr. Gotti? Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Roger. It's my wife, Anne. You just came in from Rochester for the weekend, and no one's gonna believe we actually met you, Mr. Gotti. We just got married. Yeah, we get your Give him a bow, Shanty. Give him a bow. It is autograph. He likes to have you. Tommy, come here. Come here. Give him a drink. John Gatti, I'm FBI agent Russo. This is Agent Gabriel. Russo? You know what FBI means, right? Why don't you tell me? Forever bother the Italians? An FBI bug has picked up some information we think you might be interested in. No kidding. The capo in the Bonanno family has been recorded stating that the commission is sanctioned to hit on you. Thanks for the tip. We have a legal and moral obligation to inform you. Oh, legal and moral. Is it? Well, let's not bullshit each other, right? You'd be happy to see me go. Not at all. We're going to take you down ourselves. Hey, Russo. Start the moment, huh? Penza a te, non penza a me. For seven torturous months, the government has been trying to sell you on this indictment. Well, this indictment stinks. And a fancy wine dressing called Rico isn't going to make it any better. It's still rancid. It is still rotten. It still makes you wretch and vomit. In brief, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there is no case. You can convict John Gotti because he curses on a telephone. You can convict John Gotti because he gambles excessively. You can convict you see John, John Gotti five? because he lives a lifestyle which you may or may not. What about him? But that is not we what my him. client is charged with. Worst case, it's on jury. You want to get John Gotti? You do it the right way. Do it the American way. A jury has reached a verdict. <laughs> Defendant Joseph DeMaglia. Not guilty in all counts. Yes, That's what I've been telling you. If you can't control yourselves, you will spend the next 30 days in this building. And if you think I that I'm kidding, I invite you now. to try it. Please <laughs> continue. Defendant Angelo Ruggiero, not guilty in all counts. <laughs> Defendant Gene Gotti, not guilty in all counts. <laughs> Defendant John Gotti, not guilty in all counts. John Gotti has beaten a federal RICO case. After seven months of testimony, John Gotti has once again proven to be immune to government efforts to convict him. The Dapper Don is now the Teflon Don. Sir, can I have your view on the trial? John Gotti, have you ever walked into the boys' club on the east side? Every bit of equipment bought by John Gotti. Ma'am, ma'am, can I have your view on the trial? Oh, oh. We love him. But the government should just leave the poor man alone. We love him. Perhaps the most personable gangland boss ever to grace the Big Apple, John Gotti is, in underworld terms, the undisputed king of the volcano. You know why the people in the city love me? I'm beating the same system now that's fucking them every day. Everybody loves a celebrity gangster, Chad. Hey, you know, you forget your father was a rich businessman. You don't know the system from the outside. 
Say no. No, I know. Whatever you say, John. You know, Frankie, why would a guy born a money choose our life? Hey, Angie. What? Three guys sitting in a car. Mexican black guy and a Puerto Rican. Who's driving? The black guy. Puerto Rican. The police. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a fucking doctor? No. Will you please go see Gennaro on Prince Street? Bulldoze your way in and don't sit in no goddamn waiting room. I'm sick of this. I'm gonna see Gennaro. I'm gonna see a doctor. I'm gonna see a Jew doctor. Hey, Angelo, Jews, Wops, Chinks, Zulus. It's one world. It's one people. Would you stop it with that shit? Yeah, well, not when it comes to doctors. Hey, John. I gotta talk to you private for a minute. What's the matter? All right, tell Vic I'll be up in a minute. Hey, what late as it is? Hey, the guy can't wait a minute, tell him I'll be a minute, all right? Go on. What is it? I heard DB saying some things. He says if you're going away in this jack alone, this Rico thing, Sammy should be the boss. Come on, that's bullshit. No, it ain't, John. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I know you pissed off at me, but it's true. No, I'm not pissed at you. I just don't trust you. You need to put my tit in the rear and a goddamn dope beef. I love you, all right? I just don't trust you. Come on. John! It's how it started with Paul. What started with Paul? DB's talking subversive, and Sammy's right next to him. Angelo, DB is solid, and so is Sammy. Put out the fucking cigarettes and see a doctor. Come on, stop that. So where is everybody? I think Gene's up at Sheep's Head Bay with your mother. Pete's downtown looking at the bar. He wants to talk to you about buying. That son of a bitch. Hey, Frankie, yeah, you know, I really don't want to know. You know, it's just an expression. <laughs> so, Consigliere. Angie says DB is talking to the subversive. There's nothing to that, right? Nah. DB's a solid guy. Between us, Angie's just a little jealous that uh, me and Sammy got the slots we did after Paulie went. They don't like you spending so much time with DB. Forget about it, Johnny. Normal family bullshit. What the hell is Sammy today, anyway? It's working. Hey, you know the guy got a $13 million contract to build a new school in Brighton Beach? This guy's a wonder. He opens a business a minute. Since you made him underboss, nobody keep up with him. I tell you, in a few years, between him and DB, they're gonna own all of Brooklyn. Is this guy O'Connor, head of the 608 union? He trashed the place just because Tommy didn't use any of his people. And he definitely knew that it was under your flag. And you know me, John, I was just about ready to whack the guy, but, uh... Mentioned it to DB. He said I ought to run it by you. Hey, what is you and DB? You discuss now who gets whacked and who don't. Who the fuck is the boss of this bagatta here? Now, may I ask? We weren't discussing anything. And I mentioned it to DB in passing. He waved the flag. It ain't no big fucking deal. I hear he's busy promoting you now for boss. I don't think he was talking out of turn. I mean, DB was thinking of the family. He's thinking, Sammy. He got no right to think it. Never mind say it. Come on, you know I just spent half a million here on legal fees. I'm sitting on the griddle here for seven fucking months. I got you and DB laying me down. What the fuck kind of friend is that, huh? Get the fuck out of here laying you down. What are you talking about? Hmm? What's the matter with you? Hey, I'm in a goddamn courtroom for seven months now. I got Gene and Angie's drug trial coming up. On top of that, I got the FBI now. They pop up in the men's room every time I go take a piss. I'm talking about my blood pressure. That's what I'm talking about, my blood pressure. Forget it. Forget I said anything. Forgot it. You really worried about this thing? I mean, um, you want me to keep an eye on DB or, or what? Yeah. Keep an eye on him. Come here. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Worry about your blood pressure, don't be eating all that greasy shit. Seven fucking months. Seven fucking months, a Rico case I made that up. I know, Seven I know. They don't let you live, I know. I know. They don't uh, let you live. Hey, yeah. Speaking of time, we got the three o'clock down midtown. What time is it now? And the go. No, no. Tell them I can't break away. I'm gonna stay with Jimmy, I'll ride back with Sandy. Hey, Frank, right. you going to Manhattan? Yeah. Good. You know what? See you later. We do it tomorrow. Yeah. Jimmy, thanks for having Jimmy. Yeah, put it on Sammy's dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Sure. Cheech, you want to drop me off Mulberry? Yeah, go ahead, let's go. Did you want to talk about Fourth Avenue, whatever the fuck it was? What Fourth Avenue? Fucking Buick.
Who's not here? Is anybody missing? Tommy Marino, he ain't here. He's in Florida. I don't see DB. DB ain't here. DB ain't here. I know some of you come from upstate in Connecticut and Jersey. I'm not going to keep you here. I heard some of you is talking. Nobody knows who killed Frank and Chico. So don't ask. Nobody's got to look over their shoulder here. You tell your crews to stay calm. You're the Gambino family. And don't you ever fucking believe that anyone, anyone, anywhere, it's gonna fuck with us. Now go home and drive carefully. Because believe me when I tell you, that's the most dangerous part of your lives. And I thank you for being here. And a car. You ought to see that fucking car. And this just could be a renegade element, that's all. Maybe he's one of Tommy Bellotti's people. Hey, Frank of the Chico set up the meeting with Big Paul. Payback time, buddy. Yeah, but the question is, is it over? There was nothing left of that fucking car. How are you, Joe? I'm good. Gaidana, good. Uh, espresso. For sure, you were supposed to be in that car with Frank. We going to war? They took their shot. They'll be satisfied with one for one and give you a pass. But you got even bigger problems, John. Yeah. You're selling espresso here? You're telling fortunes today, which? Don't take no fortune teller to see where you're heading. I went to your inauguration. I held my nose, but I went. <laughs> what do you have to hold your nose about? I'm just curious. I got every right to talk this way. I was at the sit-down with Neil and Paul and Don Carlo after you clipped Gaglione. You broke a rule then, but Neil got you a pass. So then you went ahead, you broke another rule, you whacked out a boss without a commission okay. Excuse me. I'm supposed to get a commission okay while my family's being bled to death. A fuck, Paul. He deserved it. That's it. got nothing to do with it. The rules are for everybody. Right now, on a street in Brooklyn, there's a young kid. He works himself up and he talks to DB, he talks to Gravano, he talks to three or four capos, and you get a bullet in your head. We survive by our rules. And now you're breaking the oldest rule of all. You're going fucking public. On TV and magazine covers. No, the, these no, no, fancy no. suits, these fancy no, haircuts. No, John Gotti, no, John Gotti, no. John Gotti. Don't give me that shit. I didn't ask to go public. You know, they shove their goddamn cameras and microphones in my face. Get the fuck out of here. You're turning this thing of ours into entertainment for every chidrul that watches the 6 o'clock news. But our thing is secret. Kabish. Secret. And what you're doing won't work. You really believe you're the one wop who can keep spitting in the government's face and get away with it? You're making them come after you. What do you think, Joe? You don't think the FBI knows who you are? You don't think your face has been sitting on the wall right next to mine for the last 20 fucking years? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, they know me. I know who I am. I'm not embarrassed by who I am. I'm not gonna sit in the dock here like some fucking rat. You know, in the end, maybe I get a little respect for it because I'm not getting any here. John, you made a hell of a long walk from a cockroach tenement to the cover of Time magazine. That takes ability. But a Cosa Nostra boss don't belong on the cover of Time magazine. Wherever I'm at, it's because I am who I am, all right? I'm not going to change who I am. I'm not going to apologize for who the fuck I am. But you'll wind up in a cell because you are who you are. And you'll take a lot of good people with you. Duck, John. Learn to duck sometimes. No more comments about me lowering my profile. It's not my style. I'm not going to be the style of this family. First order of business, Nuke and Solieri. Frankie, the job is yours. That's your job. You get word to the four bosses today. If the Chico was payment in full, we settle. 
We don't want to get the hell out of our lives here. And Stan. Gene, you got a drug trial coming up. Stay the hell off the street. Let P run Queens. Yeah. What's my job, Joe? Hey, killing people. What else? You've been bugging me for a month now. You want to clip Louis de Bono and Mickey, whatever the hell his name is? Mickey the Bat. Fine. Clip them both makes you feel good. All right. Look, I hate to bring this up because I'm really close to the guy. But I got an obligation to the family here. DB. Maybe Angelo ain't so crazy when he said that DB's been doing a lot of talking. Well, wait a minute. What? I mean, Angelo's been sipping fucking morphine for months for his fucking cancer. I mean, it, the guy's in and out. You can't believe him on something like this, John. Come on. Look, it isn't just what Angelo said. I mean, DB's got his own agenda. Where was he last night? John almost got killed. I mean, it's like a spit in the face not showing up. You know where he was? I know where he was. D.B. was in Brooklyn on union business. It was bonafide. I checked it out today. D.B. told me he told you that, and you would have told John. He never told me anything, John. Hey, look, D.B.'s no threat, for Christ's sakes. I mean, even if he said something, what the hell does it mean? It don't mean Fuck this! Fuck it! See, I got no time. I got no time for subversives. Oh, wait a minute, Not John. now. Not now. Look, I love DB as much as any man in this room. But if he's backdooring John. DB! Come on in! John, I'm sorry I'm late. I just wanted you to know I was here. You want me in on this or you want me downstairs? No, no, downstairs. Fine. Right. All right, I'll see you later. the world to think I'm an item, you know? You come and bounce with Sammy? No, not tonight, John. I'll take DB. What a life, huh? Palling around with the guy I'm gonna have clipped. That little list of guys who go, Louis DeBoney has two businesses with Sammy. Mickey DeBat is the demolition with Sammy. Man, D.B. and Sammy got over a dozen businesses together. Bruce, come here. What? Check this out. Why are these capos showing her all this respect? It's a good question. Does she live in the building? I don't know. I don't give a shit. I'm not in this thing out of the goodness of my heart. I'm in this thing to make money. DB, come on. Giuseppe. Yeah. Come stop. Bene, grazie, Roberto. Hey, Joe. Get DB an espresso. Yeah, all right, don't worry about it. Yeah. Whatever. All right, we'll straighten it out tomorrow, all right? Subcontractor from that school out in Queens. Looks like we got a little $30,000 envelope coming. Good. You could use the money. It's your fucking habits. <laughs> there you go. Two Thank you. Salud. Cheers. Look at me. Huh. Huh. Fucked up, John. So? We all fuck up, man. You still mad at me? Huh? You still mad at me? I'm thinking.
Mrs. Michael Sorelli, apartment 10 in Gotti's building. Lives alone. Widow of Mikey Sorelli. Lifelong soldier for Neil Della Croce. So what? So it's another Rico case, Boos. What am I supposed to say? These feds got nothing better to do than chase me all day long. I'm the only game in town now. Well, we'll sue them. For harassment. What the hell else? Hey, it's 2.45 in the morning. Am I getting billed for this? Then let's say nothing, all right? What is it? <laughs> you got a new grand jury going now. Jesus, Johnny. Man. Like a 1,000 pound gorilla here. How you beat him before? Beat him again. Come on, come to bed. Let me look at my races. Lucky baby, my lucky star. Susan Valley, it is delight. Oh, looks good. Oh, looks good. He's here, with his lawyer. Where are we? Well, they're gonna be coming down with 15, 20 cops of Rico, including a Castellano hit. This is serious, What the fuck is this gonna cost? Well, oh, forget that. You know, this is the last shot. If we win again, we're out of the woods. But if they come up with something strong, John, we might have to think about Striking a deal with the prosecutor. What are you talking about? John, listen. Hey, Bruce. Who are you talking to here? No, no. You don't let anyone in this family cop any kind of a plea. A plea bargain is just another goddamn gun. Hey, what am I talking to myself here? Just no fucking deals. Hey, I don't give a shit if everyone here goes to marry him for a thousand years. There's gonna be no fucking deals. No fucking deals. I get Jacoby and Myers, please bugger my ass. Cost me eight cents. Jam, we got the place to ourselves. The old lady's with the nephew. You know, I just told Cutler. No one is taking that stand. You get my cell ready right now, because if they malicious mopery or car theft or some shit like that, we deny everything. Cutler told me they come up with a new statute. It's called committing murder in furtherance of your position. Yeah, well, that's nice. Yeah, that's real nice. They come up with anything they want. It's fucking government. That Dunsky Bush. Yeah, old Bush. He could send a whole army to Panama to grab one man, right, the Spick? Yeah, no Jaeger. Hey, Frankie, you know how many people they whacked out to get that little fuck? Oh. The Spick's working for Washington the whole time. They got no parameters. They got no parameters. What time is it, anyway? Mm, about 11.30. Where's Sammy? I guess he's home. He's tired. Hmm. Tired of being the world's only pussy whipped hit man. Packers, <laughs> <laughs> you got 40 fucking companies now, right? Hey, the guy's creating capital. Hmm? For you? 
For me, no shit for the family. You know, I got people in the carpet business, Frank. They come to me every day. They say, John, we can't even get a job. Sammy's locking up everything. We can't even turn a buck. I go back to Sammy with that. You know what he says to me? He says, I'll whack the cocksuckers, then they won't be. That's his attitude. What the fuck kind of an attitude is that? You know, he does it under my flag. He uses my name. John, you gotta understand one thing. Sammy brings in 100000 in cash every month. I say, stick it up his ass. I'd rather die broke. Then what, leave my family to death? We've been through this. It aggravates me. It aggravates me. You know, I could be a billionaire here. Yeah, I want to be a greedy fucking boss. It ain't right. Hey, that ain't right. When does it stop? How much is enough? How much could Sammy want? You know, because if not for his greed. You gotta love the guy. The guy is down. Well, what the fuck is this, Rome? What does this all roads lead to Sammy? I agree. Sammy's gotta pull it in, that's all. You know, I gotta ask you something. Did you ever hear DB talk subversive? Never. Who took over DB's construction unions, huh? Who? Fucking Sammy. This is making me sick. This is making me physically sick. I love that guy. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna whack him? You know? I tell him a million times, would you slow it down? You don't have to wind up with every goddamn dime on a plate. Spread some cheer around. But what the fuck am I talking about? Frankie, the guy whacked out Louis Melito, Louis DeBono, Mickey DeBat, and D.B. And they're all in business with Sammy. They're in business with the guy. And D.B. D.B. What the fuck did we do, Frankie? I mean, the guy was a gentleman. Who clipped him? Who did the work? Who did the work? Sammy. Ah, <sighs> fuck it. Fuck it. You know, I'll tell you something else. You want a real circus? You set it up for Sammy to grab everything off the plate. Him and the lawyers. You know what you got? You got the cutler shot girl and Fuckstein crime family. That's what you got. That's fucking color. He tells me about Marion. Twenty-three and a half hours locked down. One phone call night. Enough food, keep you alive in an 8x7 cage, and no one in a goddamn cell block. You know what I say to them? I say, fuck them, I'll die in a cage. I'll outlive them, motherfuckers. I'll leave in some kind of a goddamn circus here. You hungry? Let's go get some pizza. Fucking starving, let's get out of here. We ain't coming back, neither. Come on. I put a hundred in. What the fuck you want from me? A ten. No, I mean, that fuck you. Come on. Come on, come on. We're just starting. Yeah. 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 Oh, come on, come on. Right. Right. All right, a three. Three dimes. There's another Give me a Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Frankie Locasio, Sam Gravano, and John Gotti. I want everyone else to do themselves a favor and stay put. I'll tell you when you can leave. Hey, what's Gotti being Spread some cheer around. But what am I talking about here, Frankie? The guy worked out, Louis Melito, Louis DeBono, Mickey DeBat, and DB. DB. They're in business with the guy. And DB, the guy, he was a gentleman, for Christ's sakes. Well, who clipped him? Who did the work? Fucking Sammy. Fucking Sammy. That's when you said, Frankie. I've heard enough. Defendants shall be held without bail. I'm also granting the government's motion to disqualify present defense counsel. 
Cutler, Shargal, and Pollock have to be disqualified because their role as House counsel was discussed in taped conversations that the prosecution may use as evidence in this trial. Now, beyond that, there are also conflict of interest issues because of prior representation of potential witnesses. Therefore, the lawyers could be called as witnesses in this trial. The defendants are advised to appear before me at uh, 9.30 a.m. Monday the 23rd with new counsel. The court is adjourned. We're going to have to release them into the prison population. The judge ruled that keeping them in isolation is punitive. Okay. So tell the warden to put Gravano in with Gotti. Hmm. What about Lacasio? Doesn't matter. You can put him anywhere. Sammy's the key. Hey, tapes are tapes, man. Don't mean nothing. I'm talking, right? Some fucking talk, can I? Yeah, some fucking talk. You backdoored me. Well, that was your underboss, and I was out there whacking guys for you. Hey, get the fuck out of here with that shit right now. You're the one who gets off whacking people out, pal, not me. Yeah, you come crying to me about Louis the Bono. No, they're your partner for years, not mine. I don't know the man. You wanted to whack him, you could press me. I said, do what you want. Same with Louis Melito. The same with Shabetta. Your own brother-in-law, for Christ's sakes. And what the fuck am I talking about? What about Tommy Spinelli, Sammy? Eddie Garofalo? Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was, huh? Worst of all, though, D.B. Yeah. Come into a ton of fucking money when D.B. went. Ton of fucking money. Don't ever deny that. Don't you ever fucking deny that. Hey, let's not rewrite history here. Now, I didn't mind D.B. going. A fucking playboy instead of a business partner. But you wanted it. And when John Gotti wanted somebody in the ground, John Gotti called Sammy Gravano. You barked, I bit, remember? You bit? You probably just fucking sitting under my flag using my name every step of the way. My name! You're a selfish prick. The greed is your fucking problem. What, is it all my fault now? It's not yours? With all your $2,000 suits and all your front page dapper dime shit? You mean your lawyer didn't even know how to pull it in? John, you beat the government, you're supposed to walk away humble. You're not supposed to stand there in front of TV cameras crowing about it. Because it's going to come back in your face. I got news for you. It ain't me on those tapes. The truth is, it was your big mouth that brought this Borgata down. Hey, Sammy, let me ask you something. If Neil himself come up with the Widow Sorelli's apartment and fucking Joe Watt swept it, how the fuck am I supposed to know it was bugged? Sammy, what do they got? They got some tapes. They got no witnesses. They got tapes. So, let him play the living shit out of the tapes. Let him leak. I don't give a fuck. It's like hearing the same song over and over and over and over again. You played enough. You don't hear it no more. You hear me? All right, whatever you say, Jerry. Hey, John. What? Your friend, Ravana, was just escorted from the building. Thought you might like to know. Come on. First one. Tell us the one. first one. What is he, some metric? All day this Come guy's on. been about this. We can't get him on everything. There was like. Hey. Sit. We all know why we're here. I've got a lot to offer. And I got a lot of concerns. So I'm thinking that maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? If I talk, I walk. Impossible. You'll have to do time. 
how much? Less than 20. And whatever's worked out, we'll be obliged to inform Gotti's lawyer. Once that happens, word is out. Everything's gonna come out in the trial, right? Everything. So when Deborah finds out I killed her brother, 18 others, she'll file for divorce. A part of my life is over. So what's your motive, Sammy? Revenge? Repentance? What? What are you talking about? You heard those tapes. John and I have finished. So either I spend the rest of my life in jail, or I'm out on the streets. Either way, I'm dead. So what kind of information do you have to offer? I give you the whole Cosa Nostra. I give you the Paul Castellano head. I'll testify that I personally fixed the Jacqueline jury. I give you the murders of Louis de Bono, Louis Melito, Mickey the Bat, Robert Di Bernardo, Tommy Spinelli, Willie Boyd Johnson. Dozen or so more. Tommy Sparrow. I'll give you the John O'Connor shooting. In the most stunning I'll give you the ins and outs of the entire Gambino in the family. History of organized the crime. Salvatore Sandy the Bold Ravano, underboss of the notorious Gambino crime family, has agreed to testify against John Gotti and Frank Locasio. Gravano, himself an admitted killer, will expose the vast criminal enterprise he served for 30 years. Only. There's no because of Austria. The light die. The government calls Salvatore Gravano. Raise your right hand, please. Put your left hand on the Bible. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. You can sit down. Mr. Gravano, do you have a nickname? Excuse me? Do your friends call you Salvatore? Would you keep your voice up, please? That microphone isn't on. Do your friends call you Salvatore? No. What do your friends call you? Sammy. Our friends call me Sammy. Sammy, would you describe your position in the Gambino crime family relative to the defendant, Mr. Gotti? He was the boss and I was the underboss. And did you commit murder and other crimes as part of your association with Mr. Gotti and the Gambino crime family? Yes. 
In addition to Mr. Gotti, are there other members of the Gambino crime family in this courtroom? The defendants will rise. Clerk will read the verdict. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendants, John Joseph Gotti and Frank Lacasio, guilty on all counts. <laughs> Scotty, having been found guilty on all counts, you're hereby sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. The sentence is to be served in federal prison in the state of Illinois. Makes you think. Makes you think about the people in your life. And I think of Neil. If he was sitting there right now, what would he say to me? He'd say, John, what's it about? What's life about? If you don't go through it as a man's a man. he say, suck it up, take the fall, do the time. That's made you who you are. That makes you who you are. How long we've been around this thing of ours, this Cousin Ostra? 120 years. What's it about? It's about rules. Parameters. You take the beating for the friend, you don't run, you don't lay down, you don't betray who you are, what you are. You gotta remember Angie, my brother Gene, Joey the mate, they don't roll. They're doing a thousand years now, they don't roll, they don't rap. Why? That's the rule, you don't break, you don't rap. woman to be something I wasn't even born to be. Humble. Okay, so you humble me. What you got now? You got a war. You got global war. You got a worldwide crime syndicate now. There's no rules. There's no parameters. There's no feelings. There's no feelings for this country. So, five, ten years from now, they're gonna wish there was American Cousin Ostra. Five, ten years from now. They're gonna miss John Gotti. 